this video is going to look at simple interest. So simple interest is defined to be when we take our principal, which is the amount of money you initially put into the bank or the amount of money that you initially borrow, times your interest rate written as a decimal times time. And time is always assumed to be in years. So this formula, PRT, tells us the amount of interest that we will have earned after a specific amount of time. So in this example, it says Joy puts $1,200 in an account that earns 4% simple interest each year. How much interest will she have earned after five years? Well, I'm going to set up my formula um, so that we can put in each value. And I'm setting it up uh, this way to build up for the next lesson where we're going to be putting in more formulas like this. But I'm going to put in my variables, which is P for principal, R for interest rate, T for time, and then I for interest. And I'm going to set my equation to be our principal times our interest rate times our time. So PRT. So in this question, we can just plug it in. We know that her principal is $1,200. The interest rate that she's earning is 0.04. And then the time is five years. So this tells us after five years, Joy will have earned $240 and interest. So the next question says, how much will she be in the account after five years? Well, the amount in the account is going to be the principal plus whatever she earned in interest. So we say the total amount A is equal to the principal, what was already there, plus whatever she earns in interest. And we can write this a little bit better. Um, instead of writing I for interest, let's do P times R times T. So we have P plus I, principal plus interest, is equal to principal times the formula for interest, which is PRT. And if you notice, we've got a P in our first term and a P in the second term. We can factor that P out, if you remember doing that in a previous math class, to get 1 plus R times T. So our total amount, you can either take your principal plus your interest and just add them together, if that's simple for you. Or you can use the formula that our total amount is equal to our principal times 1 plus r times t. And that formula is in the book. wanted to make sure that y'all saw where it came from. So for Joy, let's actually set up the full formula. So we've got p, r, t, and then we're going to go for our total amount. So our total amount I'm going to do as our principal times, parenthesis, 1 plus r times t. So she's putting $1,200 in the account, the interest rate is 0.04, time is 5 years, and so this tells us after 5 years she will have $1,440 in her account. And if you notice, if we had taken her initial principal of $1,200 and added the amount of money she earned in interest, which was $240, it would have given us the exact same number. So you can just manually add them together. If it's easier for you to just physically take your interest and add your principal, do that. Or if you like the fancier formula. Oops, stop Excel. You can use the fancier formula, whatever works best for you. Right. So the next question says, when will she have $2,000 in the account? But let's drag this account formula over so that we have a fresh place to work. It's asking for when. So we're trying to figure out how many years it's going to be. So I'm just going to highlight the T since T represents years because we don't know that value. That's what we're trying to find. We can assume that she still puts the $1,200 in the account, and it is still 4.4% interest. So all these hashtags or pound signs down here, that just says that whatever's in the cell is too wide and it can't display it. So if you make your cell a little bit wider, it'll show everything down there. That's all those um, pound signs mean. So this is a problem where we're going to have to use goal seek where we know the out value, the final value needs to be 2,000, and we're trying to figure out what time value will get us there. So if we click on our cell with the formula and go up to data, what if analysis, goal seek, we want to set our total value to 2,000 by changing that year cell, by changing how long it's going to be until we get to $2,000. So we let Excel do its thing, and it tells us after 16.67 years, she will have $2,000 in her account.